Hey crew, Angel here again, and I found some more stuff while I was uh, digging in, digging in for looking for my coins in my safe, and this is what I found, Australian Opal Series. I never did finish the set, they just started getting too pricey for me, but this is the Tasmanian Devil, one ounce silver proof. I almost thought that said Hogwarts. Nope. So it's coin number 5393. And let's check it out. So this is my Tasmanian Devil. And hopefully I can get it focused good so you can see the opalness. Like the whole Tasmanian Devil is made out of like an opal inlay. So that's pretty cool. I like opals. And now I have really thin opal inlay in my coins. So, how do you like that opalness, folks? My opalist wombat. No, Tasmanian devil. Tasmanian devil. I know I have a wombat in here somewhere, though. Next up is the kangaroo. Kangaroo. There's the number. Woo! Ah! <laughs> that thing came out. This thing is supposed to light up, but I didn't want to take the the thing out that makes the battery go. But it has a special light in there. One of these might have already been opened up. And let's see if I can. I had the other one focus good. See the opalness. There we go, folks. It's my kangaroo with the pretty opalness. And the queen. So that's pretty cool. Let's see what the other ones look like. What did we see? We saw a Tasmanian devil. Now we've seen a kangaroo. And now it's time to see the pretty owl. The masked owl. Oh, that's your lower lower one. The light don't work on this one. But there's the pretty owl. Get my light over here to make it opaly. You see the opals? I love the opals. It's so darn pretty. Let's go to the next one. We have a wombat and a pygmy possum. Let's see how opaly this wombat is, folks. Get my light over here. It's pretty opaly. It kind of reminds me of like when you were younger, did you ever, like, uh, just put a bunch of random colors on the paper and then you, like, cover it really thick with black and then you can, like, etch out a picture? That's what it kind of reminds me of. So, that's pretty cool. Little nostalgia. Back when I was a young one. That was fun. I remember also, like, just shaving, shaving the crayons and then getting some wax paper and then running a um running an iron over it oh see look this one's got the light see the light up here and the light supposed to like if you set it up a certain way the light will shine down shine down on it shine light shine bright like a diamond shine bright like an opal yeah it doesn't have a really great effect here but here's my other light love me them opals so that is the opals there's more but I just I just gave up they started getting a little too pricey for me but here's another one that I never finished probably never will I looked it up this is the 2013 lunar lotus year of the snake and there goes my information. 
Sorry about that, folks. And these coins are not a full ounce. 26.7 grams. I don't know. Maybe that's like equivalent to three quarters of an ounce. But I'm not like a mathematical genius here. So I don't know. But like 31 grams is an ounce. So it's got to be close to like at least three quarters of an ounce. But I just really liked these because of the shape. It's like shaped like a lotus flower. You can see, I don't know if you can tell really, like right there, I guess. It's like, whoop, whoop, whoop. And if you can see, it is shaped like a pretty flower. Pretty flower. There, there's some light. Snake. Psst. The pretty snake. Let's see what else we have here. And you're seeing them for the first time of me seeing them. Because I have not seen these for a long time. Oh yeah, this one's a dragon. The dragon's pretty cool. It's like one of those like long dragon thingies that like you'll see in like a celebration. Where they have like all the people underneath the the train to make the dragon dance. And of course it's from Canada. Uh, most of my coins are either from Canada or Australia. Because they have some really cool, really pretty coins. So that's where I get them. Oh, here is the year of the horsey. I have a lot of ho horse. Horse. Horse coins, because I like horsies. They're so pretty. But here's the horsey one. You can see, like, the cutout of the flower. Three quarters of an ounce. And I think I have one more to show you. Let's see which one this one is. Oh, it jumped out. It's the rabbit. The rabbit jumped out of the case. He was just kind of laying there. I guess it's been so long since he's been out, he just wanted to hop right out. But I think I like the the horsey or the dragon one the best. Hey, which one do you guys like the best? Let me know. And that does it for this. And I have two more September 11 medal. I don't really collect commemoratives, but I just liked the way this one looked. It was pretty. It's beautiful. Always remember. I really like the back. The back's my favorite. Honor and hope. Yeah, I really like that. Pretty cool, folks. And I have one more, and I don't even remember what it is, but it's in this cool packaging. Wow, that's kind of cool. Let's see what's inside. Oh, it just lifts open. Year of the Horse from Tokalu. Oh, that's a big, big holder. Man, that sucker's big. I'm pretty sure it's just one ounce, though. But yeah, look at that. Pretty horsey. Pretty colors. And it's shaped like an oval. So that's pretty cool. 2014. It's the queen. How many people have actually had an oval, oval egg-shaped coin? I think this is the only one I have. But I mean... This box, man, it's just like overkill, but it is a beauty, so let's see. Mintage 2.014, yeah, I don't know what that means, unless it's like 2014. Oh yeah, maybe they minted 2014 of them, because it's 2014. Makes sense to me, folks. And I have two more. I hope I'm not boring you here. But 
I am decided to look at my coins and I decided to share it with you at the same time. So this one you could only get if you went to the World's Fair of Money in 2012. And it was in Philadelphia. So let's see what's in here. It's a giant panda. Five ounce panda. Mama and baby. That's so cute. Yep, World's Fair, Philadelphia. We the people. Looks almost like the Great Wall or something. And I have no clue what that says. But it's pretty cool. And the second one is the same thing. Except for it's a ginormous slab. Here's like the, the certificate of authenticity that came with it. And it's a giant slabbed panda. I just really get a kick out of these giant slabs. I mean, look, they're so huge. See, see it in my hand? It's like pretty much as big as my hand. Same thing. But pretty cool. It's a 69, so it's not a 70, but still. It's just cool to have it in this big thing. But... Thank you for watching, and please subscribe, like, yada, 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 and I'm glad to share my coins with you, so I hope you had a wonderful day. See you next time. Thanks.